The Hebrew midwives disobey and lie to Pharaoh. We find this in the book of Exodus, chapter 1, verses 15 through 21. Let's check it out. It says, Then the king of Egypt spoke to the Hebrew midwives, of whom the name of one was Shiprah, and the name of the other Puah. And he said, When you do the duties of a midwife for the Hebrew women, and see them on the birth stools, if it is a son, then you shall kill him. But if it is a daughter, then she shall live. But the midwives feared God and did not do as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the male children alive. So the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said to them, Why have you done this thing and saved the male children alive? And the midwives said to Pharaoh, Because the Hebrew women are not like the Egyptian women, for they are lively and give birth before the midwives come to them. Therefore God dealt well with the midwives, and the people multiplied and grew very mighty. And so it was, because the midwives feared God, that he provided households for them. So what is the ungodly request here made by Pharaoh? Well, the ungodly request is clear. It's to kill the unborn. This is clearly against God's law. God has a law against murder. And if you kill an innocent baby once it's born and you throw it into the river or however they were killing these children, this would be a violation of God's law. What was the godly response? Well, the godly response by the midwives was to refuse to kill the unborn. So we have to ask ourselves then, did the godly response include violence against the king or the government? Because remember, we're looking for an example here that would give us a precedent for civil disobedience to include violence against the king for making an ungodly law or more specifically, for enforcing God's people to violate God's law? And the answer is clearly no. In fact, the only one doing the violence in this story are the ungodly. The godly are the ones who are protecting life. They are the ones who are saving life. They are not killing. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed today's video, be sure to check out our full length video on this topic where we share 10 different examples of civil disobedience in the Bible. You can check it out right here.